Hey everyone, I want to thank you for watching. Today we're going to take a look at how to connect a Mac to the console port of a Cisco device. Now there's two different ways to connect to the console port of a Cisco device, particularly modern devices anyway. Uh, the legacy option is your blue console cable, your serial cable, uh, as well as a USB to serial adapter, as most laptops do not have a serial port at this day and age. The second is a little bit more modern, and that is the USB mini connector that you'll see on a lot of devices. So the ISR 4000, the industrial ethernet switches, uh, even the 3508 wireless LAN controller, um, catalyst switches, you name it, they have this USB option. The cool thing is, is either way, with either cabling option, it really doesn't matter. The process is gonna be just about the same. So uh, be sure to check out the video description. I have a couple different cable options there. If you want to uh, kind of prune back on this big wad of wire that you have to carry around with you, you can go with a pretty straightforward USB option. So uh, anyway, be sure to check that out. Um, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content. But for now, let's dive in and check it out firsthand. All right, everybody, so the first thing we need to do is open up a terminal window. You can find it in the applications folder or you can use the magnifying glass to search for terminal. Open up the application, get yourself to a prompt like I have here. Uh, we are going to use the screen application to actually make our connection. Um, and then we are going to reference the device folder on our Mac, the dev folder. Now this is the same, but just slightly different depending on how you're connecting. If you're using a USB cable, you're technically connecting directly to the router or switch. If you're using a serial adapter, you're connecting to the serial adapter. Uh, all in all, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna see something very similar either way. So uh, to find that device, let's, uh, let's do TTY dot uh, and we see the TTY devices. One is Bluetooth, there's an LPSS serial one and two. These are built into the Mac uh, operating system and hardware. Uh, now, what we'll see is, we, or what we wanna do is we wanna compare this output to the output we get once we plug our USB device in. This is the easiest way I know how to explain it. Uh, it's a little, little tricky, but, uh, but yeah, basically just plug in your USB adapter I'm going to plug the USB cable in right now to the Cisco router I have here. Do that, uh, press tab again, and you'll notice a few new devices showed up. Uh, mainly this, uh, this one here and this one. So the names of these is going to be different. It's essentially TTY.name of adapter. So I have a, uh, a key span serial uh, or USB to serial adapter here as well. When they plug it in, it says key span or you, you know, you name it, there's hundreds of cables or adapters out there. Uh, either way, this is what we're looking for. So I actually wanna leverage this device as you see it has a number at the end. Each time you make a connection, that's actually going to increment up. So uh, this is the 23rd time I've done this since I rebooted my system. Let's, uh, let's type it out. Boom, hit enter. And now you are connected to the console port of your system. Issue your typical commands, so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, away you go. When you're done, I simply just close the terminal window. Hopefully that's been a good and helpful intro to console port connectivity with a Mac to your Cisco devices. If you have questions, comments, uh, other tips and tricks, I'd love to hear from you. Leave something in the comments section for me. And I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.